Hey guys, welcome to episode 6 of Serganan's Feed the Beast 1.5 Let's Play. Um, here I am, just um, sitting up here. Figured I'd give an overview of, um, of what we've done so far. And I went ahead and just climbed up here with some gravel. Okay guys, you know I was sitting here wondering... Why is this not going? You know, why is it not going faster? I'm like, why do I only have one refined iron? Because I was sitting here staring at the chest. And it turns out that I'm not getting power. Um, I forgot to do something last time. And you can probably see right here, there's lots of power in there. I'm just not telling it it can go out. There we go. So now that that's facing out, um, we should see... This is starting to go down. Yeah, it's starting to fill up my machines now. That, um, I guess that's kind of critical. <laughs> Something I totally forgot about. Okay, so that'll make those go a lot faster. So now we have some, some refined iron here. Uh, let's go ahead and make our machine frame. And then we need a few more. And those are still cooking up. Actually, we have two. And as far as I remember... The electronic circuit is two redstone. So one... Ah, that works. And two rows here. And two electronic circuits. Um, I figured go ahead and make two because that's how much rubber I had cooked up and we need uh, quite a few of them anyway. So let's go ahead and put together our power table. This is a really cool machine. Uh, it looks really cool too. I like the holographic uh, kind of look to it. So let's go ahead and put this, uh, just for right now we'll put it over here. And we have no power suit items. Uh, basically that means we have no armor. Um, so what we're going to start with is I want to do the boots, um, which are really easy. We just need a few more electronic circuits. So let's go ahead and throw this back in there so we get more rubber. And now we just have to wait for it to cook up. And while that's going, I'd be a good idea to go ahead and, and try to collect some more. And I don't, there we go. This one's nice, with two on the same side. Sometimes you have to jump to hit them. Now, I only hit them when there's a yellow knot. When you do that, um, you you don't run the risk of uh, them not growing back. Um, and it makes it easier to spot, because you just run around and there's a yellow knot. Hit it and run around some more. So let's go ahead and cook this up. Okay. And so we have some rubber now. I am so ready for a minion stone. Uh, I think that's what I'll do here in in just a moment. So we got two rows there. Let's go ahead and looks like we can make three sets. So three sets of cable. One, two, oh, we're missing one rubber. Okay. So we do two of those, two of those, and there we go, two more, and now we have our boots. We're going to go ahead and put those on, and we can go ahead and come over here. 
And now we have boots. So what do we want on them? We want these shock absorbers. That's a definite. And we're also going to need power. Um, I don't think that we'll put the power on the boots. One of the nice things about the, the power is um, the suit will share it. So if I put power on the chest, um, that's all I need is I can put it on the chest and it will share it throughout the rest of the suit. Um, now obviously if you put batteries into each uh, slot you increase the amount of power that you can have in it uh, but the problem is is then you have weight and the, and when you get over um, 25 kilograms which you can see here right now uh, it's not in any weight. I believe it's kilograms it might just um, I'll, we're, we'll see when we get up there um, but if you get over 25, then what will happen is um, you start slowing down. So this is like your normal walk speed and your normal run speed. And this would be like your normal run speed when you start getting slow. Or when you start getting weighted. Okay, so what did we need for those? We needed the servo motor. So let's go ahead and see what it takes to make that. Servo motor. So we need more electronic circuits, of course, and we need some wiring. And wiring is redstone and gold cable. Is that the only way to make wiring? Let me go ahead and look back here. I guess this is the only way to make that. I thought there was another recipe for wiring. Okay, redstone and gold cable. You know what? I really need another crafting table in here. I probably don't need that much. Okay, um, 24. And so we need machine blocks. We're going to need quite a few of these. So this is where it gets expensive. And so we'll let this cook up. And we'll go ahead and just do one for right now. Actually, we need two anyway, because we can't make a servo motor without two. So annoyed. These definitely are expensive. I'm going to go ahead and cook up a little bit more um, refined iron, and when I have enough uh, to do the, the shock absorbers, um, and I'll go ahead and make the leggings, and then um, and we'll go ahead and, and see what we can put on those as well. Okay, guys. Looks like I have the 10 servo motors that I need. Um, so we just need one more thing, and we can go ahead and put it all together. I did go ahead and make my legs. Now, obviously, they don't have any modules in them, uh, so I just have the legs and the boots uh, for right now. So what we need is, um, is I need to make this energy crystal into a Lapiton, a Lapitron crystal. Okay, so there's that. And we want to make a HP capacitor. That's going to be our battery. So we want a Lapitron and two wiring. Just like that. Okay, so now we should be able to go ahead and put everything together. Um, so in the boots, we want the shock absorbers. Uh, we still need two wool. Um, I actually have a really easy fix for that, and that's why I've been growing cotton. Um, it is because with cotton, you can make wool. You can also make string. Um, but this makes it really easy for me to get just white, uh, white wool. 
We're install the shock absorbers, and I want them to um, consume 100% of the impact from hitting the ground. Okay, and then in here we want the sprint assist, and we just want to go ahead and max everything out here. I'm not sure what the compensation is. Oh, that's the exhaustion. Okay, so we're just max everything out. Um, if it uses a bit of energy, that's fine. We're also going to do the jump assist, and we'll go ahead and max everything out there. If we find that we're using too much energy, we can always uh, change it. And the HV capacitor. I am going to put these in the legs. Um, and let's see... And this doesn't affect... Uh, that's just how, um, how much power at once we can pump in. And it does not affect the weight. So here, 10 kilograms, that's fine. Okay, so now we have those. Um, as you can see, we run a lot faster, we jump a lot higher, and that makes it a lot easier to get around. Okay, um, so now we just need to find a way to charge these. Um, now, there's two options. Uh, the first option is we can use industrial craft which we're not generating any power. The second option is actually a new block. Um, let's see here. I believe it's from thermal expansion. No, oh, stop. Thermal expansion. Okay, and it's the energetic infuser. Okay, so we need silver, we need two silver transmission coils, one gold. A machine frame, a shiny, and two copper. That, that's easy enough. So we have to. So we need one shiny. We got the copper. And we need a little bit of silver. Okay. Now we're we're getting around a little faster. It's um, and this is just just walking speed, I believe. So we have those. We need two silver. And I'm going to need the machine frame. I've made enough of these that um, now remember the recipe. Now once we get into applied energistics, we'll be able to make all this automated. And redstone reception coil. And then two copper. Sweet. Energetic infuser. Now what this does... Um, and let's go ahead and move this here, because I'll put the energetic infuser on the end. Um, but what this does is it will take your build craft power, um, and it will allow you to uh, to use it for um, charging items, basically. Um, so we want to go ahead and put the crafting table back down here. We'll just put it here. And we're going to need a little bit of redstone energy conduit. And so now we just need to go hook it up. Oop. Oh, I forgot about that bush there. Let's go ahead and get this. And we should be able to... Oop. There we go. It's a little hard um, when you're trying to get used to these uh, these controls here. Like this is just walk. Okay, 
So that should start filling up. And what we can actually do is we can take, I gotta be careful of this because it, as far as I know, it will drain our power quite, quite a bit. Um, and actually we don't even need to take off the boots. Uh, the power is only stored in the legs. So, yeah, see that uses really quickly. And I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. Um, I don't know how much power we have in the reserve, but that should be uh, that should be good. We're we're let more power build up. And so this is walk, and then this is sprint. Yeah, see, this is much better traveling, um, so I can get all the way back. Don't have swim assist, but I can get all the way back to this swamp very, very easily. Don't need to worry about the boat. Um, makes travel so much more uh, enjoyable. Okay, and I will be working on the jetpack as well. Obviously, uh, flight's uh, definitely a big one. So yeah. This is where I, I actually found quite a few um, of the uh, the rubber trees here in this swamp. And that's why I went ahead and marked it out is because not only will I be able to get more rubber trees if I ever need to, um, it's also a really good place to find slimes, um, which is, is kind of one of those... You, you can't really force slimes to spawn. Um, what, I mean, you can't. Actually, there's there's a really good way to to force slimes to spawn, um, which is in one of Direwolf uh, 20's videos, and I will be using the design, uh, changing it up a little bit. Um, but first, I have to find one, um, and I need to put a waypoint on my house. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back home here, and the next project. Uh, that I'd like to do uh, is let's see if we can get into applied energistics. Uh, let's see just just how far we can get. And I'll go ahead and get stuff together and I'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back. So, I did a little bit of playing around in the nether, and I got quite a bit of uh, nether quartz dust. As you can see, I went ahead and crafted a uh, quartz cutting knife, uh, which we need for applied energistics, uh, which is made with two sticks, a piece of iron, and I actually use two nether quartz, um, because I'm a lot better on nether quartz than I am on surface quartz. So the first thing that we need is the heart of the ME network. And that comes from making the ME controller. So we're going to need four Fluix crystals, uh, which is a Certus uh, crystal, or Certus quartz, uh, nether quartz, and a redstone. So let's go ahead and make a few of those. And that should get us the four we need there. The other thing we need is four iron and an advanced processor. Um, to make the advanced processor, we need the assembly, which is a diamond, uh, two redstone, a silicone. Now, to make the silicone, um, what you actually have to do is pulverize a quartz, nether quartz. Um, you can also use the uh, Sardis quartz, pulverize that to make the Sardis quartz dust, and then if you cook it, um, it comes out with a silicone. Okay. So, we need to use um, the last diamond that we have left. Uh, again, diamonds have been really hard to find um, for some reason. So, go ahead and put it like so. Go ahead and craft that up. And you have to cook it. And once that comes through, and we have our processor. 
and so that should be all we need. And we have an ME controller. And let's go ahead and find a place to put this. Um, I normally like my ME controller to be uh, somewhere out of the way um, because it's just the controller. In this case, I actually would not mind it being right here. Um, actually, that's not where I want it. Let's go ahead and put this... We don't want you here. Uh, let's go ahead and put this here. And we need to run power to it. Um, so that's probably a better spot for it. So we need... So redstone energy conduit, which should be here somewhere. I wonder if I left it. I know I had some. There it is. Okay. Just enough. Okay, so now this is using up power. Um, I believe it's. I believe with Minecraft jewels it's one for one. Um, so it's right now using six units. Um, now what we want to do is now we have the heart um, and so we need to add things to it uh, the first thing that we're going to want to add is an ME drive so we need a chest some basic processors uh, which are made with gold instead of the diamond um, I actually took the time to go ahead and make uh, a bunch of those so uh, we need a chest and some glass uh, let me just see how we're doing. Okay, we're doing fine on iron. There's the glass. And we'll go ahead and make one chest. And we should be able to make the drive here. For some reason, some recipes it will put everything in, and some it won't. I don't understand it. Okay, so now we have the drive. Now, the drive um, is basically like a multi-chest, um, the way that it works. You have the, the drive here, and it, get, and it can get power right off of here, and you can see now that it's connected. The drive here stores your items, right? Um, but it stores them on disks, so they're not accessible readily from the, uh, from the drive. Okay, guys, it seems that um, we lost a little bit of footage. Um, so I will go ahead and uh, show you what um, what I was able to make, and uh, and I did move my uh, my hotkey for starting and stopping the recording. It seems like it was getting in the way. <clears throat> so we went ahead and made the controller uh, downstairs here. If I can get downstairs. Okay, so we made the controller here, uh, which basically just tells us what's connected. Uh, I went ahead and made the ME drive. Oh, what, um, and you, you'd seen that. What I did um, off camera was I went ahead and t made two uh, 4K storage drives, uh, a bunch of ME cable, and then an access terminal. And we actually need the access terminal because we. this is what allows us to access everything in the ME network. Um, so I went ahead and put basically what was in my uh, inventory uh, into the ME network, but I'm going to need to grab some stuff out. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we need here. Uh, what I'm going to want is an import bus. And to make that, I need some fluid dust, which I do have here. And quartz iron. Let's just grab it all here. Iron redstone just in case. Okay. 
Oops. And that should go ahead and get us. Um, no, we want the import bus. And we just want one. At least for right now. Um, so we have the cable and we need glass. And it doesn't look like the glass is in there. Uh, I think I put it in here now. I don't know why I keep looking up there. Oh, let me type in this. There we go. So it'll be the basic import bus. So go ahead and make one of those. We need a sticky piston, um, which shouldn't be hard, and we have everything else. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit of cobble and wood. We have the iron and redstone, and luckily I have some slime. And there's our piston. There's our sticky piston. And there's our import bus. Now, what we're going to do with this is um, we're just going to stick it right here. So it's facing this way. Anything we put here, it's going to go ahead and import into the network. Now, there's one thing that I've been wanting, and I don't have it. Um, and we might need to get creative. Um, with how we're making this, um, I'll show you right here. Let's grab some smooth stone. And I believe it's. like that. Yep, inert stone. What are we making? Finally, minium stone. So we do minium stone, round inert stone, or minium shards. And we still have enough shards to make another one. Um, now this one probably won't run out too fast. Let me make sure that works for me. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. And so what do we need? The reason I was making that, I'd like to make a gravity gun. But I need ender pearls. And I don't have them. And I need a diamond. And I don't have any of those. I used the last one. So let's see what we can do to be creative here. Let's go ahead and grab the iron we need here. And one, two, three, four. And we need a little bit more gold. We're going to need one obsidian. Okay. And so what we can do is we can convert four gold to a diamond. So now we have our diamond, we have our ender pearls. Let's make our gravity gun. What am I missing? Oh, glowstone. And I know that there's a, a hole in the wall. I was um, looking at where I wanted to put the, the access terminal. Um, and I will be cleaning things up. Gravity gun, go. No, gravity gun, go. What is wrong with it? Oh, stupid me. I didn't make that last time. Gravity gun, go. There we go. 
And this is cool. So we can pick stuff up. Just right click, pick it up, move it around, place it back down. We can also pick stuff up and shoot it away. Um, we can also just use this and push away mobs. So the nice thing is what I can actually do is pick up chests. So let's go ahead and put this right here and if you look apparently there's nothing in this one. Let's do this chest. Okay, so now you see the flashing? That's items going through the system here. Um, so as you can see they're being sucked out of this chest and imported into the system and you can see it right there. Um, so the nice thing is, is this will give us access to everything that we have and we're going to expand upon this. We're going to make it so that I can use the machines. We're going to make it so that um, that it'll auto craft for us. Uh, there's a lot of cool things we're going to do with uh, with wide energistics, and this is just the basic. Um, obviously, I'll be cleaning this up. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and import everything in. Um, go ahead and clean this up, make it look a little nicer. Um, basically doing a little bit of, uh, of cleaning, maybe, maybe rearranging. And I will see you guys, uh, later.